Welcome back everyone! Today we are going to do the second part of our inventory and this is involves JSON files database for the inventory items and let's get to it right now. JSON is basically a database we can use for our inventory items. So basically I have an empty file right now I'm using a Visual Studio code for that and let's get to it right now. So let's create first item green leaf it will have a property of texture this file already created inside go dot so I have no uh, nothing to worry about the path already let's say this item is also stackable the rest is just the description of the item so we have a weight that will be 0 1 and sell price of the item also and description this is crafting material also I forgot to add something else type of the item crafting material so basically I did a JSON file JSON database for this specific item I will copy it few times and we will make different names right like branch the branch is going to be second texture everything is fine rock is the third texture that we have and crystal is the last texture and I don't want to be stackable and we will name it rafting key to make let's say this is a crafting key so far so good this is our database JSON database we will use it inside our code and right now we will make a JSON loader so let's minimize it let's go back to our scripts we will create new script let's name it inside outlo auto load let's name it json item db extends node and let's start coding first parameters is the json path we are using the work path for the textures This function will uh, look inside the JSON file and load everything into dictionary. Um, URL. If URL. basic checks if the URL is null then return null if the file does not exist return also null and the rest is very simple file open URL file file read J 
JSON um, file as text file close return data. This function will load the JSON and return it as dic dictionary. Just what we want. This function is just like a loader. It will uh, find a specific item inside the data and it will load it inside the game. Item, item name does not exist. So basically, if this returns null, it will show the item does not exist and will terminate the function. Let's terminate it with null. This command will create another variable inside our JSON. So basically, if we have this kind of code, it will create a new variable name and green leaf just for it. I don't want to write it over here since we have the item ID over here. I want the item ID will be the same as his name. And that's all. The last part is just a simple texture loading. So what I did here is actually very smart. So instead of loading um, PNG file every time, like in this code, we will actually load it only once, uh, assign it to this one as a texture resource. And if next time we are going to lo load it once again, it will check if the item already texture, then just return the texture resource. That's all. So, so far so good, we finished the second part, nothing actually to show, everything runs normal like it should, nothing changed. The next part is going to be uh, coding those items alone, we will create a configuration uh, format for those items, so when the item is locked where there is amount of items, uh, texture for it, uh, and everything else. So guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm happy to do what I'm doing right now just because of you. Thank you very much.